I was born in Galway and I left there when I was six. We were born in a very small town, a rural town in Galway. My mum and dad were both fanatic gardeners and that's where the interest really started. So I spent three years in England and a year in Luxembourg. Came back then and started my own landscape design business in Cork with a garden centre in Bishopstown. And it's been, a, it's been a major passion ever since. What happens when you have a garden centre, it's a natural organic progression to go out and then and landscape people's gardens. As a garden designer, you go out and you design somebody's garden and you give huge pleasure to a family and their extended friends and relations, what have you. But you want everybody to see your work. It's like an artist. You want, you want to share the work with everybody. And a garden festival like this, like Bloom and other garden festivals, it's a platform to say, this is what I can do. You know, you're always looking to push the, the boat out and see what you can, other areas that you can explore. A show like Bloom will give you huge ideas from other garden designers that you can use aspects of that in your own design. So I said, right, I'll design a garden, a contemporary garden from my perspective. And I did that at the Mallow Show last year. And the garden you see here, the aubergine garden, is a, a, a further step on from that original design. The planting scheme here, um, it's Campanula cerastro, uh, which is the tall plant, and um, underplanted with alliums, which are the large ball plants, and then lots and lots of roses, lichenus, uh, estilbes, diorama, which is angels' fishing rods, and my favourite of all is the rose old port, which is the pink, pinky purple rose, which is highly scented. And Nepita's mixed in there as well too, and then Carex, and that's about it, which is a lovely full planting scheme, uh, which gives a lovely flow. As you can see here in front of you, the pattern here of the paving is uh, reversed in that it's the large gold Indian sandstone paving slabs are in the centre with the black sets around them. But again, unusually, we have the checkerboard planting scheme, which is lavender and agapanthus. So you have a beautiful rubber liner under the, um, the water feature, and then it's paved black Indian sandstone paving and the gold sets around those. The stainless steel panels, there's six of them there all together, and the water flows uh, at different levels, from four feet down to a foot. We had 10 kids in here yesterday, and uh, with their mums, all sitting around the edge of the pool with their feet in the pool, and the big, tall um, stainless steel panel with the, shell, the water flowing off it, you can actually dip your head under that to, to cool down, and it's going to be a hot day today, so I'd say we'll have a lot of visitors. This is my Heidi bench here. It's decking and a lovely deck seat behind me here. And on either side of me, these are two plants that are supplied by Pat Fitzgerald, Fitzgerald's Nurseries in Kilkenny. This is Bechenaria, which everybody's talking about. And it's a lovely uh, tropical plant, probably needs protection in the winter. And this is a, a formium, which is called Festival Grass. And it's highly scented, the white flowers um, go right up to the top of the wall here. So it's flowered especially for the show. My love is of, of coming up with new ideas, coming up with new designs, meeting new people and going creating new gardens for, for my clients.